hello welcome to my channel my name's Natasha and I am coming to you today with episode 29 to show you what I've been up to this week I'm filming this on Sunday the 21st of April but you will be seeing it on Monday the 22nd which is tomorrow morning I have got work um, and so I'm just doing my videos a little bit in front so that I get them up and not worry about whether I can get them done or not. So I don't have very much to show you um, but I uh, because I've been working hard just solidly um, on my uh, otter um, but I do have a couple of things that I have bought and so I'm going to show you those as well. So this week, um, since I have been, um, uh, since my last um, video last Monday, um, I have got on with the baby otter and uh, I have finished. And how lovely is he? Some gorgeous little feet and lovely hands, although they do look a bit big considering he is quite small. But I think he worked up really lovely. Um, I think I only had done the body um, on uh, on the last one, uh, which I showed you um, of my pro my progress. So I spent a good couple of days um, on the head, making sure the head was right. And then I finished him on Saturday, which was yesterday now. And in the morning, um, I had done both the feet. And. I ended up with one bigger than the other so I had to redo it and mess about so I did spend quite a lot of time on it and then um, in the afternoon when I came back from shopping and seeing my uh, daughter and grandson um, I did the arms and the hands and I finished last night so then obviously uh, sewing it all up takes me a while as well. Um, I'm not that great at uh, sewing it all together, but I manage and I am successful. So um, I've only just put his whiskers in this afternoon, but uh, they're a bit wispy. Um, I know whiskers are supposed to be wispy, aren't they? But they're going all in all funny directions, but that's because this clear, um, what do I call it, beading thread um, comes on a roll and so it's just automatically curved and I've got some going backwards, some going forwards. But not all whiskers are just straight, are they? So that's the way that I am just going to justify it. But he's got lovely little ears. A lovely baby face and I think he's just lovely and then I've got mum otter where obviously you saw him uh, uh, you saw it um, on the last podcast too but I literally just put um, the whiskers in for her as well Again, they're going here, there and everywhere, but I'm hoping they'll just settle with time. I don't know. They might, they might not. Um, and for this one to sit... Oh my, nearly dropped him. Right, for this one to sit here, um, all I need to do is to connect the hands around so that um, they... Are cuddling because in the water 
they hug their babies on their fronts like this, don't they? So I've just literally got to put a little bit and just kind of join the fingers up. So I'm going to do that. And I'm really pleased. So although I haven't really done a lot um, to show, you know, in objects, um, I have actually been busy um, doing some of my uh, whips that I've woken up for my video on a Wednesday for Wake Up Whips Wednesday. But I'll show you that in that video. So although I haven't done a lot today, uh, you know, got a lot to show you today, I just had to come on and show you because they will go to their new house very soon. And they will live at school. So that is the otter. Now I had a win on the horses in the Grand National and so I was bidding on a Attic 24 blanket on eBay and so and I got it quite cheaply um, and I was quite impressed so I haven't opened the bag um, beforehand which I should have done so you'll have to excuse the um, crinkling but I will show you which one I got I'll be as quick as I can videos I said that I had um, bought um, oh this was a, quite a long while ago um, I bought my friend um, a choice of two uh, blankets for helping me out with my dad's flowers for his funeral and so I gave her the choice of the June blanket or the uh, fireside blanket and she chose the fireside blanket and I wasn't bothered, um, you know, I was quite happy whichever one she chose I was going to have um, the other one. And so that means I've got two packs um, of the June blanket, but one I'm thinking about doing um, the Nature's Walk blanket by Sandra Paul. Um, with one set of the colours um, for that rather than the traditional colours mainly because it's quite a lot to shell out at once um, and I was going to just get a few bowls and leave it until I had enough but then um, when I came up with that idea I thought well it might actually um, look quite nice so and it's a different variation so of course then that left me with two June blankets. One is actually going to be a June blanket when I get round to it. Um, as us crafters always say, you know, we have a massive great big list and we'll get round to it eventually. Um, but so then I saw this one on eBay and thought, well, I've got to have it. So I have got the fireside blanket. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to actually do the blanket, but I love the yarns, the colours of the yarn and, and everything, and I just really love it. And so I was very intrigued um, to get it. And obviously um, I managed to get it a little bit cheaper, um, which is always really good. But the, there's... Um, lots and lots of shades in here um, from the new Highland Heathers maybe not so new now because they've been out a while but they're new to me and we've got the Highland Heathers in Gorse for those of you that haven't obviously seen the colours of it 
Um, I just love it. I mean, I haven't um, got the light on and the sun keeps going in, so it doesn't really help. But I really do love them. And then we've got Thistle. Now this one has got lots of little bits of flecks of blue. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. But there's purples and blues. Oopsie. Purples and blues. And again, just a really lovely colour. And then we have... Tayberry. And this one um, is red. But it's like a roving kind of, like a twisted, twisted kind of fabric. Um, fabric, I mean wool. Um, which I really like. I can see a knot there. Mm. It's not very good but then I suppose you can't help it they're making balls of wool and it's it should actually um, go into a project quite well because it does look like a magic knot but anyway so that is the Tayberry and then we have Kane K-A-I oh no calm oh no no sorry got it wrong again Khan. C-A-I-R-N so that I thought was really nice as well just a different variation of blue uh, just trying to see if there's any doubles in here to know whether I've shown you them or not uh, and then uh, we've got whiskey and that's a lovely rustic foxy colour Although it looks bright on the camera. And whoops, I've just dropped it off my lap. And then we have marmalade. And this one's a lovely brown. And this one's very rusty as well, but not bright. It's just a, a very, like a darker rusty colour. And that's really nice too. A bit like a ginger. Hold on, let me just get the bag because I've dropped it. And then we have bracken. I love that. That's a really lovely teal colour. And then this one is thrift not quite sure what thrift is but again this one is like pinky bluey purpley color all those different colors all in one and then lichen and that's a lovely greeny color there's a bit of blue there that you can see flexing through it so that'll be nice. Heather. And two more left. Firth. Which is quite a bright blue really bluey greeny colour. The camera doesn't really give it justice. But it I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna make with them all. And then this one is lock, which is a darker blue, a bit like a denim. And that's got flecks of different colours, blues in it. So, I was very impressed with that. Um, my goodness me. Sorry about that. 
my goodness no um my tripod just fell over <laughs> fell off the desk um so then um i was looking on vinted i'm just putting it away as i speak to you so that it's not all over my desk um i was looking on vinted and i always look out for books and things um just because i always like to add to my collection and i came across this one and Jeanette from Crafty Clegg's Creations has got this and she's been making them for uh, well she was making them she's finished now but she was making them for um, all of all the birds for her Christmas tree now I'm not saying that I'm going to be making any out of this book yet but I wanted it for my collection um, and I'll get round to it eventually when I get round to it but I was so lucky to see it at such a good price that I decided that I was going to make it a, um, a purchase of mine and um, I've got some others uh, coming um, in the post as well but I won't tell you about those until they come so I have been splurging a little bit um, but of course you can can't you um, I was really lucky to have a win and so I thought what better to put it towards something um, crafty now um, I'm going to also give a shout out to a new um, crochet vlogger uh, she knits as well, um, but I have just found her channel recently and that is the Cornish Knitter, I want to say. I've forgotten. I've forgotten all the details. I'll tell you what, I'll just put them in the, in the description box below and I will link her channel. Um, I had it all in my mind, I didn't write it down. But she's just recently um, been to France and so she vlogged her travels and she found a lovely wool shop um, and had a look around there so it's well worth to go and have a look. She hasn't been um, doing videos that much. Um, you know, she hasn't long started. So I said that I would shout her out because it's always nice to give some encouragement to new channels and show some appreciation for everyone that wants to show their yarny goodness to people that are actually interested rather than boring family members or just keeping on about it when people aren't really that interested. So without further ado, I'm going to go and I will see you again on Wednesday for my episode of Wake Up The Whips. So I will see you again very soon. Take care ladies. Goodbye.